Yeah, I'm starting to get somewhere in my, my career at the moment. Uh, my life's uh, been well documented in the media about mental health battles and, and what I've been through as a kid. And just to look back now and say I've got a Paralympic bronze medal and now a gold medal from the Commonwealth Games. It's so surreal. It doesn't feel real at the moment. I'm looking down thinking I've got someone else's medal. It's not quite sunk in, but this medal for me doesn't just represent a, a gold medal match and, and I'm winning a tail to this point. It represents all the, the hard work, the dedication that not just me but my, my friends, my family, my supporters back home have, have been through because I'm just a, a front man of a big band, a big orchestra behind me of people that have got me to where I am today and they've seen me at the lowest lows of my life and now they can see me at the highest highs and I'm just here to show that anything is truly possible because I'm just a working class scouse lad just like thousands and millions of other people in the country and I can just show that anything's possible and, and sport was my vehicle but if you guys could find something that you're passionate about it can definitely change your life. Yeah I think the bronze in Tokyo definitely give me that belief because I'm not just a good player anymore, I'm a Paralympic bronze medalist and I can believe in myself because I've been in big moments and lost out previously to Tokyo and to take a medal when I wasn't seeded for a medal it's such a massive, massive thing in my life and now I can truly believe in myself. I've got a gold medal in the Commonwealth Games, a bronze in the, in the Paralympics. Hopefully I can move on now to World Championships and Paralympics and, and bring home more medals for the country. And I, I am actually proud of myself and it's so weird to say that now because I have been in the darkest places and now I'm sitting on top of the world looking at this. I, I truly know that anything is possible. I'm hoping so, yeah, I'm hoping I can bring back some more gold medals. Uh, the, the standard of Paralympic tails and this is so, so high in the world at the moment. I'm currently ranked number five, uh, but I've beat all the people above me. So I'm definitely looking at them gold medals in, in major competitions, but any medal, just to represent your country at the highest level, is such an, a, a privilege and an honour. So to bring back medals is an absolute bonus. So I'll definitely be hunting down them gold medals in the future, and hopefully I can do it. The atmosphere was absolutely incredible in the Games. I went into the arena and it felt like the roof just came off the NEC. There was thousands of people just cheering my name, wanting me to win a tail tennis match. And these are the positions that you dream of as a kid. These are the positions that you, when you close your eyes and you dream at night, these are the, these are the big moments that you think about big crowds winning big matches. And my dreams have come true. And to do that in front of my friends and family and the whole nation, it's so surreal. It's memories that will last forever for me. And yeah, it's such a privilege to be in this position and, and, and to, to represent Team England. And I'm so thankful to my friends, my family, my supporters, my lottery funding, to, to UK Sport, just to, to put me in this position because without them, I would never be anywhere near where I am today. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think I'll have definitely a few uh, comedy sketches coming out about my Commonwealth Games experience. I'm sure Team England will get a bit of stick in, uh, in my comedy sketches, but no, I'm looking forward to getting back out there in the comedy scene. It's something that I really love doing. It's very different than the sports dynamic, but it's given me something else to focus on as well, away from the table. And yeah, it's such a good outlet for me at the moment.